Hello and welcome to another episode of Bits and Brews with Brent and Brian. I'm Brent. And I'm Brian. And unfortunately, Buzz, not here with us this week. No. Nope. But we're going to soldier on in his honor. Every week, we play three completely randomly selected games from a library of over 4,000. Mm-hmm. We play them for two minutes, and then we give you our reviews of those. And at the same time, we'll be drinking beers. What are we drinking? You don't even know my name. I'm drunk. This is the Lef Blonde, or Leffa, I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce it, but I've, I've drank it many times. It's a, uh, it's a wonderful Belgian blonde, Abby style, and uh, we'll talk about more about that later. I knew a Belgian blonde named Abby. Ooh. I liked her style. <laughs> Me too. I, I knew her on this. On this the is a, an Abita Pecan Harvest Ale. I'll be telling you all about that momentarily. If Glenn were here, he'd be drinking some disgusting shit. But... We're going to skip that tonight. Uh, <clears throat> so we select our first game, Brian? Mm-hmm. Well, I don't know how to tell you this, but our first game is Wayne's World for the SNES. Wonderful. No one's happy about it. Here we go. Yeah. All right. It can't be worse than the movie, right? I like the first Wayne's World. Oh, uh, that's not true, Brent. Don't ever say that again. I think about what it took for them to digitize that people saying Wayne's World, Wayne's World back then. <laughs> it always amazes me. Look at this. This. This cost hundreds it's of thousands Friday. of dollars. It's time to party. Your excellent host, Wayne Campbell, and this is Gar. Party on, Wayne. <laughs> that is ghoulish. <laughs> look just, at that. That's terrifying. Look, what's happening to Garth's head? <laughs> he looks like he's, like, short and 500 pounds. Oh, my God. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I don't want to have to see Garth do it. No! <laughs> this game. Oh my god, dude. I hate it so much. Start this. I can't stand this I'm anymore. Tr- I'm hitting every button. Wait, wait a minute. Wait. Is this... The... Wait, I think, I think I got out of it. <laughs> I can't handle it. I love that music, though, dude. You know, rock music. Okay. Oh, are you actually playing? Okay, now I'm Wayne. I have a guitar, and I suffer from uh, hypocephalic... Uh, <laughs> Your vagina. head is the same size as the rest I of your body. I appear to be shooting. Uh, this is a platformer. I kill things with guitar chords. All right. Th- th- listen. Keep going. That sounds like a guitar, right? Kind of. Like a guitar slash laser. I'm in a music rig. store, I guess. It says there are signs that say sale. What are you collecting? There's a djembe. Uh, there's a drum. Were you collecting what? CDs? No, what are you I'm picking up. I don't, oh, I just died. Ah. Now my ghost will be in Guitar Center forever. Oh, Brian, why don't you take a crack at that? All right, all right. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Jump. Uh, D-pad. Oh, okay. There we go. Yeah. Oh, so every time he gets hit with something, he says not. Nah. Yeah, oh, Jesus. Get, I didn't even know that. That doesn't get old. Wait, that's, not. A, that's a bagpipe. I can't, I can't kill things. I'm just really terrible at this. <laughs> I was just killed by a sentient floating bagpipe. Great. Okay, I'll try one more time. Every time I've heard that. I'll try one more time. Now I know actually how to shoot. All right. Destroy the bagpipes. Uh, just keep on shooting. Seems to be the best thing to do in this game. This is as good a time I... as any to talk about the decline of Michael Myers' career. Um, Did anyone see the long movie? The Glove Guru was really, really, really terrible. Danny saw it, Danny. Cat in the Hat hat was terrible. Oh my god, Cat in the Hat is somehow even more evil than the Jim Carrey Grinch movie, which is the most evil movie ever made. these things here? Well, jump. jump. It's a platformer. Why don't you try jumping on the platform? Wait a minute, there's there's like a trombone. I don't know. Uh, This is all right now. You've done a very poor job. I am not worthy here. You can try it some more. Okay. Go ahead. Time to destroy your record. Swing. That's a thing that was in the movies. You know, I think the last good movie he made was the second Austin Powers. Oh, I like, yeah, I like the second one. Third Austin Powers, not so much. Oh, well, we're, out, we're out of time. We're out of time. I'm really sad. Would you that. like to pick the second game, Yes, I would. Thank you. Well, that was a great game. <laughs> not. Not. And our second game of the night appears to be Ninja. Uh, what was it? Ninja Warriors. Ninja Warriors. Not affiliated with the Ninja this Warrior television show. Once great and wealthy There's, nation lay in the midst of the That's Nosferatu, I guess? That is the Satan himself, actually, I think. Wait, the Ninja, the Ninja Warriors. Warriors. Okay. All right. So we'll do. We're going to let Brian kick this one off tonight. 
normal because so I can be Kuniochi, uh -huh. ninja, <laughs> or Kamitachi. One's since, a robot, one's a chick, one's a ninja. Since this is Ninja Warriors, I think it's pretty much obligated Seems to play as right. ninja. Mm. It's only good. In Stage right. one, start operation. Okay. As you know, ninjas usually fight guys carrying yes. many knives. Ninjas usually fly. I gotta. Whoa. Oh wait, it's gotta be a jump button, right? Nope. It's just a stroll forward. I can punch the crap out of Perambulate through what appears to be Miami, punching uh, machete thugs. <laughs> because, you know, Ninja Warrior. Every one of these guys looks exactly the same. Well, it's a small army of some sort. Perhaps this is, uh, you're down in Cuba? Or, Pretty sure uh, uh, it does appear that I can't jump. Granada. Oh, there's no jump for this. Well, why do you need to jump? Beirut. Oh, Beirut. oh, I can pick up a motorcycle and break someone's face with it. Yeah. Okay. Well, apparently you have uh, robot uh, arms. We can't see under your mask, but considering your robot arms and your jetpack, I'm going to okay, assume that you're little, not a human person. You got a blaster. You can, like, there you go. Pick people up. Oh, wait. Yeah! <laughs> this has this a lot guy. in common with uh, the guy. Robot Ninja film. This basically is almost exactly the same game as Final Fight. Remember Final Fight? Yeah. Except now you're a Ninja Warrior. Okay, by Ninja Let's Warrior, try. I'm we're using the term loosely. There's still a lot of Ninja Warriors that have jetpack propulsion. I don't think I've ever played a game like this where you couldn't jump. Unless that's just a... What? I gotta kick this thing's ass. Unless that's just a problem with this uh, game or something. So what is that in the background? I think you're supposed to destroy it. I think so too, but it, it won't... kept on. Yeah, they kept breaking, and now that looks a lot like you just killed a skinny young version of Invis. Like, you know what you did. And Here's then Wolverine. Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine's <laughs> retarded and <his> brother. Wolverine. <laughs> Wolverine and Wolverine in the uh, pink uh, matching vest. What is that that you just picked up? Is something in there? No. That's a taxi cab that I Yeah, crushed. there you go. Now you just got a bigger power bar. Well. That's great. Oh, you just figured out how to do backflips. No, I don't think I did that. Sorry, Ninja Warrior. Danny says no. Sega! And our final game of the night appears to be a Lucasfilm production. Indiana Jones is and a trademark. Uh, U.S. Gold? What? Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. This is the official film tie-in, I guess, 1992. There we go. I do recall skipping the last day of school to go see this in 70mm, thanks mom and dad. Really? Yeah. I don't think I ever got to skip school for a yeah. movie. My mom said, it's the last day of school, you're not doing anything, you want to go see Indiana Jones? And I said, yeah, I'll go see Indiana Jones. <laughs> well, alright. So my mom... There we go. Pretty awesome, I think. That the Cross established. of Coronado, it said. Okay. Now, I'm Indiana Jones. If I know me, uh -huh. I should have a whip. But I got a punch button. I get, oh, there it is. There you are. Whip the candles. Now, this is based on Castlevania, I assume, because it's a whip. kind of looks that way. This is like a... I don't know. This looks like it could be a cool little platform. The usual falling stalactites. Ooh, look at my butt. Ooh! Ooh! Ooh climb that Ooh! rope. Ooh! <laughs> nice. Imagine Harrison Ford doing that now. Listen, wait, listen to that noise, though, when you're climbing. It sounds like he's chewing on the rope. Ah! So I brought a whip to a gunfight. Here you go. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, it's getting dark. No, thank God. So what? We got a punch, a whip, and a jump button. Huh? Punch, whip, jump. Punch, so whip. Wait, that, it's all oh, in the mind. I thought all those guys had guns. Oh, I just got hit. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna jump over ah! that guy. Oh. No! oh! Just touching him? Here, I'll try one. Try one that. Wait, can I take that? Apparently, oh, I did. I guess when you pick it up. This there is your last go. crusade. Could you please make it a little snappier? I'm trying. Oh, I keep forgetting about that. And that. Wait, I'm finally going to get past this. No. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it, Brent. I'm going to do it. He's dead. I did it. You did it. Yay. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> you fell into a shallow pit of water. And what? that's it. Hey. Hey. S. 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 Uh oh, continue, Brent. Here. Do we have time? I guess. We're going to be playing the same board over and over. That's fine. This time we're going to beat it. <laughs> I finally get somewhere and I drown in Danny three inches dare of water. not cut me off. Mm. Indiana Jones is my name. This, uh, 
this board looks... God bless, we are terrible at doing it. Definite fecal theme You can't stop me. That's right. What are you gonna do? Not produce the episode? Here goes, watch. wouldn't stop. Okay, I'm done. <laughs> well, there you have it. A uh, strangely movie-themed selection of films. And by films, I mean games. Whoa. That is strong Good guy, stuff. <clears throat> All right, our... Um, if I can just mute the game there. Our first game of the night was Wayne's World. That's I right. Remember. Uh, that was a terrible and terrifying side-scrolling nightmare. <laughs> uh, that's going to be a one-star game. Mm. Uh, enough said. I think I would pretty much call that... A one-star game, too. Any game where you are attacked by a floating set of bagpipes and murdered by those bagpipes is really not worth playing. <clears throat> Fair enough, Brian. The second game, The Ninja Warrior. Now, we played as the titular, or eponymous, Ninja Warrior. Mm. Uh, he couldn't jump. That's not very ninja-like. He had jetpack and robot arms. Again, not very ninja-like. It was kind of a final fight, um, Streets of Rage. It was a side-scrolling beat-em-up. But that's the sort of game, actually, I kind of play... Just for a laugh So actually it's probably like a two, two to two and a half star game I mean I would actually play that again Just because of the, the mechanism of the game It seemed pretty cool I'd probably give it three stars But it was definitely weird that you couldn't jump Because you Maybe can't play can a jump. game like that And like not jump It's just bizarre Maybe the know. other characters can jump We'll never mm. know Because unless it randomly comes up again No jump kicks No jumping alone. attacks No pile drivers Jumping I mean, is away, important like, for ninjas All kinds of cool movies Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm a ninja but they cannot jump our final game, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade for the Sega Genesis. Um, well, that's Indiana Jones, and it's side-scrolling, platforming action, the way we <coughs> like it. Um, what we played seemed unusually harsh. That might be a, kind of a hard game. Uh, the license itself is always interesting to me. I do like Indiana Jones. So I'm going to give it that half-star bump and make it a two-and-a-half-star game instead of a two-star game. Uh, I'd probably give that one three stars, too, just because it seemed like a cool kind of side-scrolling platformer uh, it was weird that i drowned in like ankle deep water apparently mm. i think it was uh, the fall really more than anything that did too. Uh, i'm not sure either way it, you know it seemed hard but i would probably try it again just just for shits and giggles fair enough uh the beer i had tonight again the uh, abita pecan harvest ale it's a smooth and sweet uh, beer but not overpoweringly so uh a good fall beer i enjoyed it i would actually drink this again well, and again, I have the uh, Lef or Leffa Belgian Blonde, and uh, this one I've been drinking for for quite a while because it's just really nice. It's uh, it's spiced. And it's best if you put it in a little round glass too, because it kind of actually aerates almost like we don't wine have any does. Glasses, but uh, yes, we're not we're not fancy enough to do that here. It's solar cup. We we can't afford that here. So. Uh, mm -hmm. This is a four-star beer for sure. So uh, if you like Belgian beers, or even if you don't, go try this. I forget from week to week if we use stars for the drinks or not. I never do. Glenn usually does. And Brian, he's hit or miss. This, this week the beer got stars. Last week? That's right. Probably not. Well, that's it, folks. Uh, if you enjoyed the show, please let us know and let the world know. Follow us at Bits and Brews on Twitter. Email us, bitsandbrews at gmail.com. Please share the show. Share it on Facebook. Comment, like, etc. And let people know about the good work we're doing here at Bits and Brews. Check out our YouTube channel, Two Men, One Couch. Mm -hmm. Anything else, Brian? Please love us. We're we lonely. Need. This is all about love. It's all about love. We're so, so soul-crushingly lonely. This one's for our brother, Glenn. More buzz. See you next week. Bye-bye.